Hey, it's Denise, and today we're going to talk briefly about open communication. It's really important as the right-hand partner for your clients that you are open with all of your communication. I'm not necessarily advocating being point-blank blunt, but you should be open with everything that's going on. If it is our job to be the cheerleaders for our clients, it is also our clients' responsibility to empower us and to motivate us. When you have that symbiotic relationship, good things happen. So, for example, I'm going to a conference today. I'm going to be out of the office all day. Hmm, yay for recording early in the morning. So, what I have done is I've just told all of my clients I am going to be out of the office on X date. I usually give them a week's notice that I'm going to be out of the office on that particular day. And why? Not that I'm just, oh, I'm going to the beach, Blew, burr. but then I'm going to attend something that is important to my business and then I'm not just goofing off for the day. I do actually tell them when I'm going out to get degrade or heading to the salon or if I'm just going to be attending a meeting and then taking the rest of the day off. I'm upfront about that and that opens that communication pathway. I also remind them the day before that, oh, just a reminder. I'm going to be attending that Vermont Business and Industry Expo tomorrow. I will not be in the office. I will check messages when I get home. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be hectic. I need to make some connections. So unless it's a diary emergency, and if that's the case, just text me. So be open with your clients and tell them what's going on. If you are going through a rough patch in your personal life, it is okay almost always to share that information with your client. It may be in an instance where you need to cut back your hours. You need to cut back your responsibilities. You need to reprioritize, delegate, and you may need to get your client's permission to do some of those things, especially if they work in an industry that requires HIPAA compliance, if you're handling sensitive information, or if you're handling information that has to be responded to within a certain time frame. So open up those lines of communication. If your client is not happy with that open communication, then you need to rethink whether they are an ideal client for you. Because at the end of the day, this is about a partnership. It is about making two business entities function as one. And if they are not receptive to the fact that you're going to a business conference for a day, then maybe you really need to think how much they really value you and your services, especially if they're not paying you a rate that you deserve. So that's my tip for the day. See you tomorrow.